Okay, apparently I am not as smart as I think I am because I don't know how to use my own system. I was testing everything on dedicated server with functionality that was by default programmed to work only locally. So I was testing three different methods of picking up items and well, guess what? None of them worked because it was single player. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, no longer testing as client, testing as standalone. So single player functionalities for now will change it to multiplayer, but right now it's just single player. Another mistake, I made a hand count, which was a copy of the BP weapon template. Now it is a child of BP weapon template. Oh, finally. So now, uh, if I go here, okay, even, even tick, we're searching for interactables. This is working fine. We're not changing anything. On F, we want to do stuff. We get interactable and we get interactable as a valid get. And if it is valid, we want to get item component and we want to do pick up item and we want to push forward a component which is our inventory this should work and this should trigger inside the item inside the weapon template uh, oh yeah i already did this an interface pickup so this should do on pickup and say that this weapon got picked up by someone. Let's see if it works. Okay, so they drop this in with physics properly. And I think I just killed it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up item, item component, uh, inventory manager. Yeah, not changing anything. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay, it works. It works. I can still pick up those coins by walking next to them. And let's read what we have said. So. What happened? Uh, MP7 said hidden, true, okay, which means that the hidden function was called uh, interactable, interacted with an item. Did, this was an event dispatcher that's being called inside the inventory itself. Uh, MP7A1 picked up by, so this is then being called, uh, okay, so the event dispatcher inside the, um, the inventory so this one is being called before the pickup event happens here so on pickup and the reason for that uh, is that if this would be a stackable item there is a very high chance that this actor will be invalidated in the next frame and will be marked for um, well deletion right uh, to getting destroyed so we need to call it as fast as we can that we have certain update and we maybe want to do something referring to that update. And if an item would get stacked, this would give us the uh, stacking item, not the previous that's getting uh, deleted. Okay, so then this happened and after pickup, uh, nothing else and the other object that we uh, interacted with, okay. So this pretty much works, okay, uh, interact with an item, picked up by, okay, yeah, great, we can pick up items and it works. Okay, so let's get back here, here. And this is the hand cannon. Let's save the map. Unless there is some issue with the hand cannon itself. But I would doubt that. Yes, yes. Mm, nothing more was said. Okay. 
Yeah, okay, so they both can pick up easily. Okay, so what we want to do is to have more of those weapons. And we want not to be able to pick up all of them. So let's just make another child. It's called BPAK47. And this will be an AK47. And we have to set it physics asset to AK47. And AK47. Okay. See the barrel is the same, nothing changed, and this is not weapon but uh, primary. We just have primary and secondary in use, and the name is AK47. Okay. Uh, did we? You know, that's not the, that's not everything. Uh, we also need to set AK-47 Animcraft. It's this one? Yeah, it's this one. Let's take this weapon here, put it here. Uh, is this tag set to primary? Yes. Okay. Hand cannon is secondary and we need Glock. So let's create another child blueprint. Let's call it PP Clock 17. Mm. And this is the Austrian pistol. And uh, item. Okay. And this is secondary. Okay, we got four weapons right now. We hit play. Oh, and again, this object need to have physics for physics to work. Uh, we just set it. Right now I am picking all of those weapons. What I want to have is I want to have one uh, primary weapon and one secondary weapon only, right? Mm, and I want also my animation state to change based on that weapon and then I want to be able to switch between primary and secondary weapons. So what we can do right now is because the weapons are managed in the inventory only, and on the inventory, uh, we can say pick up, but well, not necessarily. What we want to do is just uh, AGR inventory item and we want to uh, get items of tax slot type and want to take primary and get items of tax slot type and want to get secondary. And basically, uh, this gets us our primary. And this gets us our secondary. So uh, from here, we want to know if our item tag slot type is primary or secondary so we know that there are no other uh, options but we can just do a switch on tag and want to say that all we don't have a default however we have a item weapon primary and second option is item 
weapon secondary. So if the weapon is primary, we want to get our primary weapon, right? So the one that we have right now. And if it is valid, we want to uh, get item component and we want to drop weapon drop item now if it is not valid what we want to do is just get this item in view get item component and just say pick up item and nothing else but uh, if it is valid first we want to drop item and then we want to pick up item by our inventory Mm, and if it is a secondary, we want to do exactly the same thing. So we want to go here and say if it is valid, get item component, drop item. And dropping also on equips and uh, just um, it. Um, and equips from equipment and it just does a lot of cleanup. Oh my god, no, I don't want to do that. No. Okay, so uh, we want to do exactly the same and then we want to pick up item. So here we can just do it like this because everything ends up with this. Okay, which means that now uh, when we have an item, uh, we are checking what type it is, if it's primary or secondary. And depending on the type, we want to drop previous primary or secondary items. So we sh should have only one primary and only one secondary in equipment. So if I pick up this Glock, I picked it up. But if I pick up now this uh, pistol, I should drop the previous weapon. So let's see if this happens. Okay, hand cannon picked up. Okay, there's a lot happening. So. Uh, okay, we see Glock 17 dropped, hand cannon hidden true, interacted with an item, hand cannon picked up. So if we see our Glock is on the ground, if I now pick up the Glock, I will drop the hand cannon. If I pick up hand cannon, I drop the Glock and so on and so on. But if I now have hand cannon and I try to pick up a primary weapon, I can. I didn't drop anything, but if I pick up AK, I immediately, immediately drop uh, this weapon. Okay, so right now we know that we can pick up only one primary weapon and only one secondary weapon. Let's do something about equipping them, right? 